Welcome, we will understand five important strategies for teaching concept today. The first strategy that we would understand is the concept attainment model. Now this concept, concept attainment model was initially given by Brunner. The idea was attaining or getting into a concept. So with a simple example, I can say there is a child, I introduce a red toy car, I introduce a red apple and I introduce a, a red bicycle. In all the three instances, I say red. So the child is now able to associate that we are talking about something that is common for all the three cases and that is red color. So he understands or attains the concept of red. Similarly, let's say I am a researcher and there are numerous subjects there or I am a teacher and there are numerous students. I have a concept that some of the numbers on the given card should be 10. I show a card which is 5 into 2. The student gives the, uh, uh, the answer and I say yes that card is correct. That means the student finds either 2 is correct, 5 is correct, multiplication should be there or the answer should be 10. Now in the second instance I show another card with 12 minus 2 and the answer comes to be 10. Now the students make it very clear so it should be either 2 or 10 because that's the only common thing in the either cases. So that's the level of concept formation or concept attainment. And in the third cases, I say 10 into 1. Now, uh, in all these three cases, what is common is the sum total or the answer that is 10. So the student understands that the concept that I'm trying to prove here is the total would be 10 or the value final answer would be 10. So that's how we understand the concept attainment model. This is a kind of inductive approach. We try to move from specific examples as we saw and we come on to a general result that is attainment of a concept that was 10 here. The next is analogical instruction. Analogical instruction occurs with prior knowledge. So let's say I tell the student that earth revolves around the sun so that's the prior knowledge that we are trying to have here and based on that knowledge we are trying to put a new knowledge let's say or a kind of new uh, addition to the existing knowledge database which says sun moves around the black hole. So you are trying to enhance the knowledge based on the prior knowledge on a similar pattern and that's what is known as analogical instruction. This is a second strategy for teaching concept to be, uh, uh, to be used. This is mainly used for problem solving and is more scientific in nature. The next is discovery. This is when the teacher brings in various examples. For example, I tell the student that this is a pen, it falls down. I bring another apple, I say this falls down. So what the student is now trying to do is based on the various elements that he is trying to see that everything is falling down, he is trying to devise a concept that is all of those are falling down due to the effect of gravity. And therefore that's a learning that's going through the discovery and it's again inductive in nature because we are taking specific examples and moving to a conclusion that you have the force of gravity that acts onto it and therefore you are trying to make a rule and this is also known as a rule method which is discovery learning. On the other hand you have expository learning model which was given by Osabel. Uh, now this model is in the other way very very simple where you simply say the definition of what is gravitation and then you explain the various examples. So it's more of a kind of deductive approach. You try to explain uh, through the verbal meaning through describing the concept and then you try to explain that thing. So it's general to specific and therefore it's deductive in nature. The last method or the last strategy under the concept formation or the strategy for teaching concept is the concept mapping. So concept mapping, I can simply say, uh, I have a simple concept that earth moves on its axis and earth revolves around the sun. So these are the two concepts. One is the internal axis on which the earth is moving. The other is the external axis that is earth is moving around the sun. So based on that, I can ask the student, uh, I, I have explained this concept. Now student can have a kind of model that is there which shows earth as spinning on its axis on the internal axis and shows that this is rotation and earth moving uh, around the sun 
and showing that this is a revolution. So that's how that could be through models, through examples, through, through quizzes or any other method and that is what is concept mapping. So these are the five major strategies under teaching concept that we often talk about. Very very important and often you have a question which of the following is not a strategy under teaching concept or which is a strategy under teaching concept. So those are the five strategies that we discussed today. We'll be coming up with more important lectures in your teaching aptitude so stay tuned. Have a great day.